Senator. For what purpose is the senator from Western Fairfax, Senator Marsden, rise? Speak briefly to the bill. Senator, as the floor. The way I've always thought this worked is that we make laws. They're reviewed by judges to determine their constitutionality. And I believe in many cases, bills very similar to this have been ruled constitutional. That's the way it works. And I wish we could have a situation where we could guarantee that everybody who was a danger was mentally ill. I was a probation officer, detention home superintendent. There were a lot of kids I thought were really, really dangerous. Never even occurred to me that I could pursue a TDO for mental illness. They were just dangerous because they were angry uh, or uh, uh, had, had some other kind of characterological problem, but certainly not committable. And so this is the system we have. We pass the laws. The courts rule on their constitutionality. I believe that has taken place around the country. That's the best guideline we have in this situation. And I wish everybody was uh, uh, who, who, would, who would come before uh, the, uh, the, someone putting this bill into practice was mentally ill so we could get them immediate help. But some of them aren't, and you can't make that case. Uh, so this is the best we can do. It is not perfect. Nothing is perfect in our system. We've executed people who were innocent. We have done things that we regret. But at this point in time, we need to move forward, and we need to provide this kind of security for the people of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Thank you. For what purpose does the senator from Alexandria, Senator Eben, rise? Yes, uh, Mr. President, very briefly to speak to the bill. Senator, has the floor. And uh, before I do, I just wanted to read out loud, um, before the senator from Northern Fairfax County cited Rule 41, I just wanted to make sure everyone's aware of Rule 42, uh, which reads in uh, part uh, the senator speaking, uh, without advancing, with due respect, addresses Mr. President, confining, confining himself strictly to the point in debate and avoiding all disrespectful language. Hope we can all abide by that. Now, uh, the senator from Rockingham mentioned, uh, suggested that we need uh, further study to know that these extreme risk protection laws work. And I wanted to briefly cite a few of the studies that show that they do work and a few examples of how they've avoided catastrophe. Uh, following Connecticut's increased enforcement of its extreme risk law, one study found it to be associated with a 14 percent reduction in the suicide uh, firearm suicide rate, I should say. And while it's always hard to, me to measure results that didn't happen, an important study in Connecticut found that one suicide was averted approximately for every, every uh, 11 gun removals carried, on, carried out under law. In Indiana, in the 10 years after the state passed an ERPO law, um, the state's firearm suicide rate decreased by 7.5%. Uh, perpetuators of mass shootings and school shootings often display warning signs before committing violent acts. And I'll mention um, among the uh, studies is one by the U.S. Secret Service and the Department of Education that showed that targeted school violence incidents found uh, behavioral warning signs that caused others to be concerned in 93% of the cases. And uh, I'll give just two examples before I close. Students and teachers reported the mass shooter in the February 2018 shooting in um, Parkland, Florida. And um, his mother contacted law enforcement on multiple occasions regarding his behavior. And he was known to possess firearms. In response to that tragedy, of course, Florida passed its own extreme risk law. Likewise, the shooter in 2014 in Isla Vista, California, showed numerous warning signs including homicidal and suicidal threats. His parents had alerted law enforcement, but he did not meet the criteria for emergency mental health commitment. And I'll repeat that. He did not meet the criteria for emergency mental health commitment. As a result, he kept his guns, which he used in the killing spree, three weeks later. In, that response, uh, in response to that tragedy, California passed its own extreme risk uh, law. These laws are not going to capture every incidence every threat of violence, but they're going to capture some. They're going to allow those situations where parents, neighbors, students, others, teachers can act upon what they know, what they feel is likely to be a catastrophe in the making. And for people who have a, a good basis to make judgments, 
as to whether or not to try and avert those catastrophes. And I would just ask that we pass the bill. For what purpose is the senator from Russell, Senator Chafin, rise?